Hello friends. Now today we are going to see the acceleration analysis for a given mechanism. So here, while doing the acceleration analysis, so first of all, acceleration it is nothing but the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. This is the basic definition of the acceleration. So as it is the uh, ratio of what velocity with respect to time. So obviously it is a vector quantity and it is having both magnitude as well as direction. But here, while representing the acceleration component for the means while doing the acceleration analysis for the given mechanism. So this uh, acceleration vector, they are of two components. One is the radial component, which is acting parallel to the link length. And another one is the tangential component, which is acting perpendicular to the link length. And here, they, for finding the magnitude of these two components, so formulas, they are as follows. For the radial component, it is the link length multiplied by, by the square of the angular velocity of the respective link. And for the tangential component, it is the product of link length into the angular acceleration of the link, that is the alpha. So by using these two formulas, you can find the magnitude. And But the direction for the radial component, it is parallel to the link length. And for the tangential component, it is perpendicular to the corresponding link length. So now here we will see the acceleration analysis for the four-bar chain mechanism. So first of all, this is the configuration diagram in which you will be having specifications of each and every link length. For example, this is the fixed thing, fixed link, which is having 100 mm or whatever the unit it may be. So these are the specifications for the configuration diagram. Now in this diagram, you are this link AV is having angular velocity of 10.5 meter per second. So first of all, for finding the acceleration analysis, you have to first of all plot the velocity polygon. So here in front of you, this is the velocity polygon. So initially for finding the acceleration, first of all, you have to plot the velocity polygon and how we are plotting this velocity polygon. So initially from the configuration diagram, you have to first of all, look at the fixed point. So here it is the fixed point are A and D. So this is A and D. Here we can represent as small and in the configuration diagram, this is the capital. Capital letters we are using. Then afterwards, the velocity of link length AB here, it will be obviously perpendicular to this link length AB. So here, this is the velocity component which is perpendicular to link length AB. Then afterwards, whatever the velocity component for the link length BC will be obviously perpendicular to this part. So this will be perpendicular component for this part and CD will be like this. So in this way, you will get this point C. So after getting that point, after drawing that uh, velocity polygon, now we are going for the acceleration analysis. So before plotting the acceleration diagram or acceleration polygon, first of all, we have to complete this table. So initially, first of all, we have to get the links. What are the links given in the mechanism? Now here we are having three links in which one link is fixed, that is A, B. Then first link is A, B, then second is B, C, and third is C, D. Now for the link length AB here, there, there will be radial as well as tangential. But as we know that over this uh, link AB, it is having uniform angular velocity. So acceleration is ultimately zero. So here there will be only one component that is FC. Means FC is nothing but what? Radial component. And we know it is the formula that omega square into link length AB. And this will be obviously parallel to this link length AB. This component. Then your BC will be having both, that is radial as, as well as tangential. So radial will be parallel to link length BC and tangential will be perpendicular. And similar is the case for the link CD. So here radial and tangential. Now we will see the acceleration polygon. Now here, this is the configuration diagram that I have already told you in the last slide. So now here, this is the acceleration diagram. So the acceleration diagram will be same as that of velocity polygon. Only thing is that there will be two components. So initially from the configuration diagram, you have to first of all plot the fixed point. So here fixed points are A and D. So these are the fixed points A and D. Then for the link length AB, as we have told that it is moving with a uniform angular velocity. So this link AB will be having only one component, that is the radial component, and which is acting parallel 
and towards the center of rotation of this link AB. So your link AB is rotating at this point A. So this component, this component which is parallel to AB is the radial component for the link length AB. So you will directly get the AB as the radial component. Then your BC will be having two components. One radial will be acting parallel to this link length BC and towards the center of rotation of this point B. So this is the parallel component, radial component, and which is acting towards this point B. And another one is the tangential component, which is acting perpendicular. So in this way, you will be getting radial as well as, well as tangential component. And here also, particularly for the link length CD, one link will be, this one component will be parallel to this thing, that is the radial component of link CD, which is parallel. So this is the parallel component and which is acting towards the central rotation of this link CD. So this is rotating here. So we have plotted this uh, radial component, which is parallel to link length CD and towards that central rotation. And another one is the tangential component, which is perpendicular to the link length. So ultimately, you will get the point C. And then after joining this, all the points, then we will get the respective acceleration from the link for the link CD, for the link AB, and for the link BC. So in this way, by moving the acceleration from the acceleration value or magnitude, we can definitely find the angular acceleration. As the formula is what? Tangential component is equal to product of link length into the angular acceleration. And from the velocity polygon, we will get directly the angular velocities. So in this way, we can find the acceleration as well as velocity component for the respective links in the given mechanism. Thank you.